Right. Go! Go! Oh, no. Oh, for God's sake. This is what I think they call a caravan or a mobile home, whatever it's called. The family, not me, been roping me into spending time in this thing, are having a little like vacation thing for a couple of days down the Jurassic Coast, Jurassic Park. They've hired this thing, which is kind of quite nifty. I thought I'd show it to you. Let's look at the key features here. You pull this down, and then when you pull it back up, you can take that one with it. You go full stealth, nade mold. You're back down into semi-stealth. Or light in. That's kind of quite cool, isn't it? You've got two seats here. It's a manual, and it's pretty easy to drive. Although the, you have to use that budget, budget reversing thing. You've got two seats here, which is quite good. You've got a bed up here, which I think is on electrics. Thumbs down, so you've probably got to do something with that table. That table all collapses away, I think. So a bed comes down there, which is a double bed. You've got a bed down here. It's actually quite big. You're right next to the toilet, though. You ain't got much privacy. If someone wants to go for a, someone wants to go for a, you know what, see, in the middle of the night, <laughs> be lying there. Getting every, hearing every drop. <laughs> oh, it's making me chuckle. Because, <laughs> and you've got another bunk bed down here, which is kind of cool. And those doors lead right to the outside. So don't accidentally leave those open and go around the corner with the kids in the back. Because it's going to be like an ejector seat. Now, if after a couple of days you haven't lost your sanity squeezing past people. Let me, let me show you some of the other features. You've got a fridge here, which is nice, very nice. You've got a tele V there, but you've got to like, you've got to unpack it out there and like slide it in and plug it all in. That's a bit budget, that is, for me. Never mind. Uh, you've got loads of storage there. We've been in there, haven't we? You've got something else up there. It's all good. You've got like a mirror there. And here you have Dun, dun, dun. The old fabled blue liquid toilet. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't even think I can get in here. <laughs> uh, so I can only literally let you got the you got the thing here. So how the hell did you get in this? That's the first thing in the morning. Like look, look at the there's no room. How the hell? Oh here we go. So there, that's much better, isn't it? So uh, I suppose you've got a bit more room with that shower room. You're better having a wet room than, than what they've got here, I think. All right, hold on a second. Right, there we go. Uh, yeah, so there's the Kazi. Loads of room there. <laughs> and there's your little sink. It's quite nice, but, uh, you know. So if you need a little bit of peace, oh, here's the Kichuan. Some sort of sink there, some sort of thing there. Yeah, it's kind of nice little oven there. It's all right, you know what I mean? But you would, after 30 minutes of squeezing past people, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, can I get here? And if you've got like eight people in there, how many can you sleep? One, two, three, four. Oh, I think there's more beds as well. I think these, I can't remember. But say you've got six of you in there. If you've not killed each other, within the first day, you will do by the second. And that is why you will not catch me going anywhere near one of these mobile Mickey Mouse crap. Because I will be in my garage, cleaning my car, enjoying the peace and quiet. That's it for this one, guys. I'm, I'm joking. Um, 
Should be fun. Should be fun. See you soon.